We have a special guest with us today, David Blake. And David Blake is a longtime Petty fan, now runs the Richard Petty Fan Club. Uh, four years later, uh, we were back in Daytona and walked over to me and said, Hey, kid, can I play volleyball? <laughs> and I said, Sure, Mr. Petty. And I say everything changed in my, in my life since then. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I look at my life and I'm 60 years old and there's been three people in, influential in my life and that's Jesus Christ, my dad, and Richard Petty. And uh, I, uh, I'll keep them in that order for right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome to the Petty Museum, and uh, we have a special guest with us today, David Blake, and David Blake is a longtime Petty fan, and David Blake now runs the Richard Petty Fan Club. So we are excited that he's here. He's going to tell us a few stories and show us a few things that um, are special to him and the fan club. So welcome, David. Thank, Thank you. you. It's it's a pleasure to be here as always. and. Uh, I'll go back to when I uh, met Richard as a, a young kid, and I can remember 1975, my parents taking me to Daytona for the first time. I didn't get to actually go to the race. However, we went to practice and qualifying that year, and I had a snapshot uh, over here of the 1975 Dodge Charger, at yeah. red and blue, 43, and I just thought that was the most beautiful car I'd ever seen in my life. So it wasn't until... Uh, four years later, uh, we were back in Daytona and, uh, and when I met your daddy. And of all things, we're in a hotel swimming pool. Treasure Island Hotel was the place to stay back in the 70s and time, yes. early 80s. And uh, so my mom and I drove to Daytona and we checked in the hotel. And I remember seeing some cars on flatbed trailers across the street in the mm -hmm. parking lot. Not a 43, but mm -hmm. so when we walked in the hotel, I asked the hotel manager at the front desk. I said, hey, sir, I see some cars across the street. Are there some race car drivers mm -hmm. staying here? And he said, yes, Richard Petty, I think one of the Allisons. Mm -hmm. And he riddled off about four or five names. And I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> and uh, so later that afternoon, um, which I would find out later was your daddy's birthday, July 2nd. And I did not realize it at the time. Of course, I'm only 15 years old. And uh, But later that afternoon, I'm in the hotel swimming pool. Uh, playing volleyball uh, with just random people. Yeah. They had a net across the shallow end of the pool. And your daddy walked out of the hotel and went over to the corner table and and took his shirt and hat off and came over and got in the pool and walked over to me and said, hey, kid, can I play volleyball? <laughs> and I said, sure, Mr. Petty, you can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> and we cut up and we laughed and he asked my name and where I was from and did I like racing? And I, I think we just talked about everything mm -hmm. imaginable. I, uh, I did get uh, later that afternoon, uh, I brought with me too. I had uh, the first Richard Petty autograph I ever got. And that was on his birthday, July 2nd, uh, 1979. Ballpoint <laughs> pen with all the swirls yeah, yeah. and uh, just beautiful signature. Well, the next day, Richard had gone to the track for practice and everything that morning. And that afternoon, we found ourselves right back out in the same spot in the swimming pool playing volleyball. And so we picked up the conversation right where we left off the day before. So, so the third day is when it really, uh, everything changed. And I say everything changed in my, in my life since mm. then. So the third day, 4th of July, 1979, um, I'm sitting on the side of the pool about 7.30 in the morning and your daddy walked out and walked over to me and said, Hey David, are you going to the race today? And I said, no, sir, Mr. Petty, my mom won't take me and we don't have tickets and she won't go over and all that crowd and noise. And I know it sounded like a sob story, yeah. but it was just the way it is. You know, I was 15, it was 1979 and, uh, your daddy said, would you like to go with me? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I jumped up out of the pool. I had my feet in the water. I jumped up out of the pool. And I told him was my standard answer for anything anybody asked me back in the day was, I have to ask my mom. That's right. And uh, so 
uh, he said, well, the only problem is I don't have a ticket for you. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, my mom won't let me go if I don't have a ticket. And mm -hmm. he said, you're not going to need one. You're going to be in my pits. Yeah. He said, you have five minutes to let me know uh -huh. uh, we're leaving in five minutes. Okay. So I ran into the hotel. We were th staying on, I think, the third floor. I didn't even wait for the elevator. I didn't have time. So I ran up three <laughs> flights of steps and I ran into the room and I said, Mom, Mom, Richard asked me to go to the race with him. And now she knew I'd been talking to him for a couple of days, but she's like, what are you talking about? And so I grabbed her by the arm, pulled her over to the curtains, pulled mm -hmm. the curtain back. And I said, look, look, he's standing down there at the pool waiting for me. Mm -hmm. I got to be down there in like two minutes. Mm -hmm. So granted, I'm glad it was 1979 and things were much simpler then because yeah. she looked at me and she said, have fun, be careful. Yeah. <laughs> and so I had my red and blue swimming trunks. I did have on a petty shirt that I already had at 15. Uh -huh. And I put on my tennis shoes and I ran back down there. And two minutes later, I'm in the back seat of the car with your daddy <laughs> going to Daytona. And also uh, very instrumental uh, was Ron Bell with Southern Pride Car Washes yep. at the time, who was one of the sponsors. And mm -hmm. I have a Southern Pride patch mm -hmm. here that Ron, uh, they yeah. actually gave me a hat to put on. And I don't know over the last 45 years yeah. how this got off the hat. I, I think the hat got messed up. So I just took the patch and I saved the patch. But also like you all were talking about, uh, I think in the last uh, uh, episode or the one before yeah. actually, mm -hmm. um, when you all brought out and Rebecca brought out her 1984 Firecracker 400 right. Pit Pass, mm -hmm. well, here is mine from the day, July 4th, mm -hmm. 1979, Firecracker 400. And I know y'all even talked about the hose in the patch for the button to go mm -hmm. through. Well, there yeah. is my original button yeah. from July 4th, 1979, Winston, Winston Cup. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, Richard signed it many years yep. later for me. Way so down. I have been blessed that this year will be 45 years mm -hmm. that that happened. I tell people all the time that if you took the person that was at the pinnacle of their career mm -hmm. in that field of mm -hmm. endeavor that you're passionate about, and you, if, if you could imagine that person the pinnacle of their career coming up to you or your child or your grandchild and saying, Hey kid, come on, mm -hmm. you know, let's go to the race. Let's go to a ball game, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's the impact that, that your daddy has right. made on me. So. And you were a lifetime fan. Uh, fan. Life, lifetime petty yep. fan. Yep. And now yep. 45 years later, yep. uh, I've had the pleasure uh, to be, I'm now the executive director of the okay. Richard Petty fan club. We have, over 2,000 followers on our social media. We have over 328. Uh, or and, we have the, and the Richard Petty Fan Club is, has been going on for a record-breaking... Yes, 54 years. 54 years. <laughs> yes, the fan club has been in existence for 54 years. Amazing. Richard's Fan Club has. Amazing. And every year, every fall, we have a fan club convention here mm -hmm. at Petty's Museum mm -hmm. and Petty's Garage mm -hmm. in Level Cross. Right. This year will be our 53rd year. There was one year that was missed. Yeah. Um but last year we had a very uh, well attended and successful fan club was convention. Very nice. Yes, and we hope to duplicate mm -hmm. that again yeah. this year. We have a huge auction, and we have a lot of signed items from your daddy uh, and the that we auction goes off. To... The auction we raise money, and uh, last year we donated money to Victory Junction Gang mm -hmm. Camp. We donate to the Petty Family right. Foundation. We donate to the Petty Museum. We help out the Level Cross Fire Department. Mm -hmm. I believe that we've raised over three hundred thousand mm -hmm. uh, dollars since we've kept records of the money that we've raised for charity. That's amazing. Uh, it's $15 to join the fan club. So that's for a single membership. And if you're a family, uh, a family up to four people can join for $20. And what you'll get with your membership packet, well, once you join, we'll mail out a membership packet. And there's two or three hero cards in there. Mm -hmm. This year we have a hero card of Richard. We have the hero card of uh, your daddy and mom uh, there at uh, in the downtown Randleman, the, the new That's statue right. that was debuted right. last year. We right. also have a Thad uh, Moffat hero card in there. Mm -hmm. We have decals. We have calendars. We have this year something unique I made was we made an air freshener shaped like a car with Richard Petty fan mm -hmm. club on it. And uh, Richard currently has one of these hanging in his truck yes, right now. Yeah. And uh, so you'll get one of these as a part of your membership packet. Right. And then also this year we made some fan club hats. 
uh, that'll be available. You can get those online too, or if you come to Petty Fest, or is you that come. Leather? Yes, that's yeah. a leather patch. That's nice. Yeah, it turned mm -hmm. out really well, and yeah. uh, we'll have these at Petty Fest in April, and also mm -hmm. the fan club convention in October. Okay. So, so you get a lot of nice stuff in the fan club packet, and then also you get a, an ID card. Um, which gives you 10% off at the Petty Museum. That's right. Remember That's that, right. people. 10% exactly right. off at uh, any merchandise. And if you have one of those and you and you come in and you buy something, you show it to us. If you don't, you t give us your... Um, you have to call in the order and give us the tell your, us that you're a fan club and give us that number. Yeah, you'll if, have an ID yeah, number. Yeah, you won't get the discount if you order from the store. You right. have to either come in or call the order in, and you get 10% off. Uh, also, with the fan club, you're going to get three to four newsletters periodically each quarter of the year. We try to send out a newsletter. Uh, actually, uh, within the next few weeks, we'll be sending out the first one for 2024. And uh, so I encourage you all, you can go to Richard Petty Fan Club on Facebook, Instagram, or X. And then also, if you have any questions, you can email me at richardpettyfanclub at gmail.com. You know, I, I, I look at my life, and I'm 60 years old, and there's been three people in, influential in my life, and that's Jesus Christ, my dad, and Richard Petty. And... Uh, I, uh, I'll keep them in that order for right now, <laughs> but, uh, no, but Richard means the world to me, to our family. Uh, he's the same guy today as he was 45 years ago, as you know, you're his daughter. Yeah, 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 and, uh, but he's such an inspiration and it's just such a role model, not only just to NASCAR, but to everybody yeah. that he encounters. So, um, it's just been really been a pleasure. Yeah. Good. Well, we appreciate what you do and we appreciate you, um, being a fan, and we appreciate you running the um, Richard Petty Fan Club. So well, thank you very much. need to join so you can get all the benefits, and we would love to see you in October. Mm -hmm.